This has become one of my favorite book series by Catherine Otoshi. It's a perfect balance of counting and numbers with our social-emotional learning and character trait building. This one especially focuses on finding value in ourselves and value with others or in others. So let's see what we will find in our story today titled Zero, written and illustrated by Catherine Otoshi. Zero was a big round number. When she looked at herself, she just saw a hole right in her center. Every day she watched the numbers line up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She wanted to count two. But how could a number worth nothing become something? Zero felt empty inside. She watched one having fun with the others. One was solid and strong with bold strokes and squared corners. Zero was big and round with no corners at all. If I were like one, then I could count two, she thought. So she pushed and Hold. She stretched and straightened. She forced and flattened and finally became zero. <sighs> she sighed. Becoming like one was too much of a stretch. Eight and nine rolled into the scene. If you doubled yourself up, you'd be like me, said eight. So zero twisted and turned to try to be eight. Oh, you could be a nine with a longer line, said nine. So zero pinched and puckered to try to be nine. But zero could only be zero. We're on our way to join the others. Come count with us, they said. Zero felt deflated. Eight and nine were numbers with value. Of course, they'd count. How could they know how she felt? Zero had a new thought. If she could impress the numbers, that would give her value. She'd leap. She'd soar. She'd sizzle. She'd shine. She'd make a grand entrance and floor them all. Zero began to roll faster and faster and faster. She leaped, flying, soaring, rocketing right into one who knocked over two, who fell into three and four, toppling five and six, who crashed into seven and eight, where they all ended up in a big pile on nine. All the numbers were bent out of shape. It's no use trying, sobbed Zero. I'll never have value. I'll never be part of the count, she said. It's what's inside that counts most, pointed out seven. Zero looked at herself. But what if I don't have anything inside? Every number has value, said Seven. Be open. You'll find a way. Suddenly, Zero saw herself in a new light. It's not empty inside. I'm open. Zero rolled up to the numbers. I've thought of a way for us to count even more, she said. Count more? asked four. Count us in, exclaimed seven. Lead the way, said one. Everyone counts, the numbers shouted. Zero jumped in. Then she leaped up high and said, Here's something new we can try. If we help each other soar, we can count even more. 
Let's count again, starting with 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And what's next? 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million. We do count more, they cheered. Zero and the numbers explored and had fun, bringing more value to everyone. And this time, when she looked at herself, she felt whole right in her center. Aw, Zero, I'm so glad that Zero found her self-worth, her self-value, and found the value in those around her as well. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did. Adios, amigos, until we read again. Thanks for reading with me. Bye-bye.